Hey, what's up everybody? Jay the Stingray back here again, and as promised, I'm reviewing another another Animal Attack movie. This is Night of the Leapers, and I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays, and wish everybody a Happy New Year. And, uh, yeah, this one, I was actually going to review a different movie today, but it didn't come in the mail in time, so uh, I'm going to, this was one I was going to review down the road anyway, but um, this is one of my favorites. This is another one I used to watch on the uh, channel TBS quite a bit when I was a kid, and uh, for some reason this is one of my favorites. And I, I rewatched it last night, and it's not that great of a movie, but it's a fun watch. It's nice and uh, it's really cheesy, and you know sometimes you need a little bit of that. It's uh, somewhat reminiscent of the the 1950s uh, giant monster movies, but it's uh, it actually came out in 1972. It uh, was directed by William Claxton. It stars Janet Lee, DeForest Kelly, Stuart Whitman, and Rory, Rory Calhoun. And uh, of course, everybody knows Janet Lee from uh, Psycho. And uh, DeForest Kelly, this was actually his last movie to do that was not a Star Trek movie. And those of you Trekkies out there know that he played uh, Bones, the uh, Dr. Bones, uh, I forget his last name. I used to be a big uh, Trekkie back in the day, but I've forgotten a lot of my a lot of my knowledge has been, you know, eaten away by one substance or another. But uh, it's a fun movie. I'd I'd recommend it to you guys. Uh, it's uh, you know upon watching it again, it's not quite as good as I remember. But um, yeah, a friend of mine and I, we always we had a VHS uh, copy of this, and we always used to fight over who got to borrow it for the night to watch. So uh, I was a big fan of this when I was a kid, but. It, uh, essentially it's about giant rabbits. That's right, folks. Giant rabbits that, uh, apparently they're, uh, mutated and, uh, they start attacking this town. Start, uh, they're, they're giant mutated rabbits who eat people and eat flesh in general, eat horses and cows and all that kind of stuff. But, um, uh, yeah, the main thing of this movie is, is they use rabbits, which, you know, I used to have rabbits as pets, and they're not very menacing creatures at all. But they're supposed to be giant, so they use a lot of miniature sets and, um, you know, a lot of actual rabbits hopping around. And Sorry to say, but I think some animals were probably injured in this production. I'm not, uh, I'm not 100% sure, but there's a lot of really crazy shots of rabbits in this movie. But there's a few shots where it's uh, it actually is a man in a suit for the close-up shots, but... They always focus on the victim, and just all you usually see is the paws of the, the man in the costume. And, uh, yeah, you know, lots of uh, brightly colored, fake-looking blood all over the place. And uh, it's uh, really cheesy. <laughs> I just want to state that once again. But, uh, you know, it is a fun watch for this for this style of movie. You know, you got to be in the right mood. But um, I had a lot of fun with it. And... Uh, Check it out, you know. Of course, for all you Janet Lee fans out there, um, definitely a good, good watch. She does a good job. Uh, a lot of the other actors in the movie, I can't say the same. Uh, not, not a very uh, well acted film at all. Uh, but yeah, definitely check it out, guys. This uh, DVD doesn't have any special features or anything. I think this is the only DVD out here in the U.S. Uh, it's just a movie and a trailer. Um, so yeah, check it out, guys. See you next week. Peace.